Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another brand new laser. Today, friends, we've got the Laser Man from Flying Bear. So let's get cracking. All right, so let's start with what's in the box. We've got a user manual, thick cover, parts list, accessory pack, goggles, the hardware, belt, the stock for the rails, some sort of supports, the laser, of course this is X, looks like we've got some rollers, the power brick, some extruders, the controller interface, and the air assist. All right, friends, so it starts with an overview. First thing I notice, we've got an air assist. That's what that large thing is I could not pull out. Of course, we did talk about all the parts of the laser, and it also comes with a roller kit. We have a color parts list, which is gonna be nice for getting the assembly done. And it starts with install the frame. We're gonna use M525 and four of them. All right, so first things first, make sure you've got your zero, you've found your countersunk. This one goes on the left, and there is no difference between the X's. These little nuts are not listed anywhere, so I'm gonna just set them aside. It is pretty cool that there is an extra one of these, just in case you drop and lose one. Pretty easy to finger start. And then finish with the included wrenches. Of course, I will tighten it all up once I've got all four connected. Do make sure you always put the countersunk side on the outside. Step two is to add the x-axis components. When you're looking at your x-axis, this is the front. Remember that scale, those numbers, is on the left. If you're having trouble sliding this on, you can loosen the eccentric nuts. As you can see, that is buttery smooth. Step three is to install the standing legs. We are going to use M5-6, and we're going to use 12 ohm, and we need T-nuts. And we also need square nuts, and we need four of those. They're 10 by 2. Here's our pack of M5-6s. These are our T-nuts. Check it out. There are nine in here, so even though we need eight, they are giving us an extra of everything. All right, at this point, make sure you find these and slide them in, because once we're done with this, you'll have to take it apart to do that. You're doing it on both sides and both ends. All right, friends, so you need to grab these feet, and then you need to find the larger T-nuts. Make sure you do not have the smaller ones or you'll be tearing this all apart. And we need to put two of these T-nuts in the outside. So once again, make sure you've got the M5s. Of course, when you add the T-nut, make sure that you put the T towards the inside. Just start it a little bit. Repeat for the outside edge of the other one. slide them into place notice once you tighten them down and then before I completely attach that I'm gonna also put in the last one for each corner that also holds it in place notice you may have to raise that up or down to get it an exact fit like I have got there and friends, simply repeat that for all four corners. One more reminder, make sure you've got those locked in. And then simply do the T-nut shuffle one more time. Hard to make it much more slick than that. Next up, we need to find our belts, and I'll show you how to install them. Once you find the long belt, you need to double it up, 
stretch it all the way out and we need to cut it in half with snippers at that point you've got your two belts let me show you how to install them once again make sure you've got the front facing forward and make sure you've got the teeth of the belt going down go underneath and then use one of your allen wrenches to lift it up and then once you've got it lifted up it just goes up over and down through on the other side once you get it through if you push a little bit more you can take that hump and just keep moving it down once you get it through you should be able to use a screwdriver or something similar to pull it into its final position then of course repeat that process with the other half of the belt easy peasy with them both in place make sure you get it under that square nut so I'm sliding that past and then I can lock it in place with the M564 once I've got the front locked then I'll slide to the back once again make sure that the metal piece is over top I'll pop any excess I've got out of here and pull it so it's reasonably tight and then I'm going to leave the little tail at the end in case I ever need to adjust it and lock it down and when I talk about tension here there's just some it's not a lot it's just enough so that she moves the way I want let's complete it on the other side and see what we think once again let's make sure we're underneath that nut find a nut and lock the front in place pull the back so we've got some tension make sure you've got it running smoothly through there get the excess out give it a little bit of tension then I'll finger start that screw and lock it down sorry about my hand being in the way just like that all right so real quickly it moves freely if you don't feel like you've got the right amount of movement you can loosen the tension if it's too loose of course you can tighten it up by just changing the tension back there in the back friends as you can see it is laser head time it is one screw to get the head in and then we're also going to add a support up at the top laser head first I'm gonna let this one all the way out slide it down into place and then lock it in notice you do have to loosen this quite a bit and this does have to go below the support where we're gonna put that cable if you search the bag you will find this pouch and inside it, if we look way down here, is the tiny little cable support bracket. And we'll set these aside for later. You'll need to find an M36, and then this attaches right in that hole, right there. And tighten it down just like that. Next up, we are going to install the drag chain using this connector. You'll notice that one has the two little ones underneath and this connector right here. Do note these are the M4 so they are the smaller T-nuts. Make sure you use those instead of the larger ones. Alright friends, so we've got the front of the laser. Find this foot with the L and we need to put in two T-screws up here on the top. Not on the part where it's got a place to tighten down. We want it up on the top. This time we are using the smaller T-nuts just start both of them and we simply slide it in and lock it in place just like that in the rear we're going to tighten it in from the inside out with one m46 screw as you can see i spun the laser around so that way you can see better how it attaches 
and there we are locked in place now we need to add the track. You notice there is one side that has tools and the other has one. We need the red, yellow, black that has the white and the black end. There's that. And now we've got this stretched out the full length. Now let's slide this all the way back making sure you don't twist that cable. Note for this one you do need to track down a couple of M48 screws. You'll see mine are right here in a separate packet. You'll notice they also have a countersunk head which is nice for this part. If you're having any trouble getting those to grab it's because you don't have the ones that are 8 millimeters long and have that cool countersunk head that works better with the chain and just make sure you tighten them down. Next up we need to find the wiring harness. Make sure you find this one right here. Make sure you find the smaller of the tubes. Note that there is a split in the cable so you can just push that all the way through. And then friends we can bring it around and our white plug goes right here. And then we simply loosen this plug and attach the yellow right there. Just like that. Alright friends, now you need to come in here and just open these all up. All the way through the whole thing. Now we need to feed the wiring harness in here and then push it all the way through and clip them all closed. And then of course once you've got them all snapped closed, we're going to attach it with two M4-6s. and the sound of making sure they are all snapped tight. Bingo! Friends, it's time to attach the controller. We are using T-nuts. Once again, these are the smaller ones, the M4. And we need to put one here. Make sure the T-side is facing in. Once you get that one started, start one on the other side as well. Now we can slide it into place, give ourselves a little bit of room on this side for the wires to connect. There's number one and number two. And then we're going to repeat that on top, but these we're going to drop in and slide into place. Notice you can do that with your trusty Allen wrench and then just lock them into place. One, and two. And now let's connect our cables. They go behind the leg. And the largest of them goes right here. Notice that length is pretty darn perfect. The second all black one goes on the top. Notice the grooves come to the front of the machine. And then the air assist plugs in with the yellow wire on the bottom. Easy peasy. Now it's time to do the air assist. I'm going to spin the entire laser around for just a moment for this. 
We are going to attach it with a pair of T-nuts, same as every other time. It'll be the M4 and make sure you've got the T to the inside. And do that for both of them. And then with the fan side down, we're going to attach this back here in the corner. Just like that. Of course, you do need to find the cable. Notice there is a notched end, and boom, snap them together. And this is where you need to find this tiny little adapter and attach it right there with a couple of M36s. Then finally, we can take the large tube down through that end, attach it on the little adapter, and of course, attach it in the back, just like that. All right, let's find our zip ties. Make sure you've got the square side in, and let's start both of them right now before we get going. So there's the bottom one going through, and we'll get one on the top as well. And then we can bring in the little piece of pipe, push them through, and zip them closed. And finally, cinch them up and clip off those ends. We also need to cable tie this right here. Once again, I find it easier to start both of them before I actually start cinching up the cable. And when you're done, clip them down. And let's also clip this one right here. Alright everybody, so there she is. There are still screws left over. That's because we're going to have to build the roller and a few other things. And there were extra screws, which is awesome. Friends, now that we've got it put together, I'm going to peel off the protective layer. Let's power it up. Notice I shut off the sensor. Right now it's set at one millimeter. If we switch to 10, bingo. How cool is that? All right, everybody, so there you have it. Simple steps to get the Laser Man from Flying Bear assembled. Now, friends, of course, make sure you stay tuned because there will be an assembly video for the roller. And, of course, I'll have steps for your first cut with the Laser Man. Friends, of course, if you're looking for more info about the Laser Man, there will be links in the description. And, of course, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. Below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and last but not least, hit that notification bell. It's going to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.